Hey, you. Hey. Good meal, Judy. Everybody say hi. <laughs> I know what Judy has. I don't know if I believe it. It can, yeah. What do you think about that? Steve and Jenna don't currently go to a community. They call them college. They're thinking about trying to figure out where six months. But then that's split. Um, and so, Wesley Snipes, what are you doing? Well, he's out of necessity, and he's trying to transition in. In your honor. What? Sure. That's a cool idea to go pro, man. You get you can get everything. Oh, I just I just let's uh let's go and see more. Oh, the, the, the sit stand Jane has a big deal. Yeah, it's not as big as a jogger. No. Alright, we can bring a jogger to just have a sit stand. Yeah. That's fine. The sit stand is great. Oh, Graham, Gr Grandma, I'm getting some orange, Julius. Where's Grandma? And Gary. Is that? Yeah. that chocolate. Wow. Wow, we just got here, too. How are you guys doing? Yeah. We know where Grandma is. I think she's uh, on the on the uh, the thing that drops real fast. Double shot. She's on the double shot. Yeah. No. For each ride, we talk about
Are you swimming? Are you swimming? Are you swimming? This one's not waterproof. Wow. Yeah, don't do that. Dad, at some point you can like mark tomorrow. And, and with it. Yeah, I want to do that tomorrow. And go underwater and everything. Yeah. Nyla, Nyla, did you go swimming? Yeah. Did you like it? Yeah. Chase, did you go swimming? I said, yep. Was yep. it fun? So I can turn. I can turn it on and off. Oh, you have this one, Lisa. Uh, turn. 
Yes. Hey. Uh, I would like a heart, please. I'm praying. Hey. I'm just gonna pray, guys. Heavenly Father, we praise you and thank you for the amazing God you are. Thank you, Lord, for loving each one of us individually, for designing us differently. And Lord, I just praise you for this wonderful family and the joy we have together. Thank you for this food, Lord. Bless Lisa and Brian for preparing it. We just pray you'll be glorified in our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Say hi to Grandpa. <laughs> Alright, James. What should I get for JC Boy? James, what should I get for JC Boy? A little bit of everything. Jace. Hey, JC Penny. Is that Wes's cup or it is? Okay, Chase, that's Wes's. Yeah. Yeah. You ready to sit, buddy? How you doing? Just sit, mommy's gonna get you your food. How you doing, Chase? How you doing, buddy? Next time. Next time. I don't have my phone. We need just the same phone. He texts us. He doesn't know his part. He's like, he's dirty. 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 Did what was left? But we just made these. We're not going to put them all out the first time. So if you don't even see something you really like the first time, just pick anything. And the next time you might see something you really like, but just hold on to your number, okay? And you can't right. sell it on eBay. We'll, we'll redraw. <laughs> no redraw. Wait. So what number is better, one or seventeen? One. There's no stealing or anything. Yeah. Any trades? Oh. <laughs> Is that trading? No trading. Yeah. What number do you want? West got number one. Okay, I need to sit down. Okay, we're going to listen to Grandma's show. All right, Dad, let's hear it. 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 Let's hear it.
Is there any Ooh, you got a fish? You want that? Oh, nice one, Maddie. Maddie. All right, it's five. Five. Juice. Juice. It's going for the blanket. Actually, it is a nice blanket. <laughs> it's not big. No, it's not. Or you can do something that you can do with your nieces and nephews. Yeah, but if I take it, they'll be more angry that I took it from them. Hey, Jada, come here. Hey, Jada. Hey, Jada. I'll go with the coins round one. All right. Yay. Jamie Seals, number nine. Number ten. Baby Einstein, baby Einstein. Okay, number eleven. Who's eleven? Kayla. 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 Okay, here it is. Wow. Oh, don't smile or anything. I don't know if you found out yet. I don't know what to think here at all. With the 10th pick in the 2014 NBA Draft, the Philadelphia 76ers select Wow, point guard. That's a little bit of a shocker. Who's your starting point guard right now? Michael Carter-Williams. What could he be, what is he thinking right now? Okay. Under the umbrella. Friday. Umbrella. Umbrella Friday. Family. Together. Okay. Basically, what I'm doing, I'm taking a picture of you so we can get all those girls in the background. Why? Just so we can post it on the Catalyst blog as you were witnessing. What are you talking about, Dad? Oh, Mama, it looks so unnatural. Everybody smile. 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 Now they just moved in the Oh my gosh. <laughs> hey, you. Hey, goofy head. JC Penny. JC Penny. Jeez. No. Yes. Matt, try not to be so white for the picture, please. Sorry. Okay, just get my arm. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> Down by the parent the lake. Let's let me know if you want it. If not, let me know. Whoops. I haven't had my second yet. Hi, Nye. Hey, Nye. Hey. hey, so it's Friday afternoon. Mm -hmm. We're in Ocean City. Mom's got an umbrella. Family, <laughs> joy, and community. Where is the poop? Where was the actual poop? It's been buried and reburied. Right there. Dug up and reburied. Jada, Jada, let one go. Jaren's 50th birthday. We're calling. We're calling this. We're, I already told Patty. We're calling this Fifty Shades of Shay. 
Oh, she read it. I think she read it. I know. She didn't deny it. Yeah, get them. And Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Shannon. Happy birthday to you. But we're giving the dollars. Fifty worth of affirmation. Oh, that's a gift. Okay. That's a, the dang gift. You don't have to say anything. <laughs> 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 you go first? And if we, if you can't think of anything, you get to take a dollar. That what? What did she say? Put it in. As she goes on the ride with me, do you want to go for it? Oh. Okay, here you go. Go ahead. Can you say happy birthday? Does Aunt Sharon go on the ride with her? Happy birthday. Can you say happy birthday? Thank you, buddy. Okay, nah, back up. You said yours. Alright, Jada wants to say something. Jada, Jada, do you want to say what you love about Aunt Sharon? Jada, what do you love about Aunt Sharon? Because I love you. Unconditional. Yeah, you want a piece of that? Anybody else? Thank you, Thank you. Are we clapping it up for each one? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, who's next? <laughs> Can we get an adult maybe to break the monotony? I'll start with that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Easter egg Yeah, I wish I could hear. What color are you usually, Maya? Yeah. Okay, Sharon's, Sharon's love language is gifts, and so because she also she also loves giving uh, people gifts, she goes to great lengths to give people just the perfect gift for them, including on Valentine's Day in 1989, uh, a snake for her then boyfriend, not yet, uh, fiance, and it involved a, uh, a, a ride with two girlfriends up to... Uh, uh, South Bend and the snake, they thought got loose in the front of her car. Uh, oh. That is worth a buck. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out it was in the bag the whole time. Two dollars? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, I want to say two things. Um, so, first of all, just as a kid, I just always remember really looking up to Sharon. I really admired her and wanted to um, emulate her. Um, and so when she went off to Taylor, you know, I just always looked to her. And of course, something you can't emulate. If you, you're either a social, fun-loving person or you aren't. And that's Sharon's nature. Um, and that's what drew a lot of people to her. And that was, you know, the quality that I wanted to emulate. But um, the other childhood memory I have, probably a bunch of them, but is that we had a really great meal arrangement that was really beneficial to both of us, where Sharon would always, every meal, take all my meat off my plate, because we had to clean our plates every night. Oh, yeah. She'd take all my meat, and she'd flick all the vegetables onto my plate. It was awesome. Yeah. It was awesome. <laughs> she got to all the meat. I was like, what? I'm just finding out about this now. Except that we never saw it, huh? No. She was quick, and she was right next to Dad at the dinner table, but she Whoa. managed to be really quick about it. Um, but then just... The other great thing is Sharon's really been there for almost every big event of my life. You know, she drove me out to college, got me settled, helped me, you know, meet my first friends um, at Taylor, and then whenever I was homesick, she would take me to her house in Indiana. She was the one who came to my graduation and brought me home from Taylor. Um, and then when Garrett and I started dating, 
she was, her and Don both were really involved in counseling us and supporting us with that in my wedding. Um, she went on the honeymoon with them. Wait a second. <laughs> But, um, you know, or, you know, uh, school life and all, the kids learned that she wasn't afraid of their father. If they all wanted ice cream, Sharon asked for ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, That's what I was going to say. Really? Was the youngest I'm still going to say it. But, you know, or, as a fun person, I know her just too, but I also know that the good qualities she had. You know, like, we definitely were the closest because we were close in age and we played together tons. But then sometimes Johnny would let me play with him, and so then she became the out person. Or I had a friend over, and she wanted to cut in with me, my friend over. I don't have a lot of problems with Johnny. Never been told. Yeah, but she's a little older and said that. But um, mine's more just, you know, cute. Especially in the past nine years. I mean, I call her constantly. Probably a little bit less than... A couple years ago. <laughs> now more <laughs> for fun stuff. <laughs> but it's like, here's the here. I mean, I have a lot of one on one to share right now. Um, all my friends, especially in high school, we would, like, you get to this age, like sophomore year, where like every weekend you all want to spend the night at someone's house. And so we like kind of burned all our bridges and all the other houses, but we always knew we could come back to Matt's house. And they all, she's just great at hosting and making everyone like sits in with us. Like it's a bunch of teenage boys and she sits in on our conversation. It doesn't feel like weird. And so they all like, they all, they all always love to come over and do that. And even like after my accident, they would come over for lunch before I was like going back to school. They would drive from school, come have lunch at Matt's house and then go back to school. Not only the sports, but she always gave all of her time to us. Even when she would, when she was at Ken, she worked long nights, and then she'd get up and drive us to school, and drive us to sports. She'd be back and forth, back and forth hours in the car. It's always been good. We must have been the same year, but I just felt like I was older, probably. But we finally decided to take the boys there. And we drive up, and uh, we were taking Justice and Matt and Mitch King too, but they were right. a little bit older. And Brian, that's right. Everybody yeah. drove up four of them. And we walked, we drove up, and Sharon gets down. She goes, I just saw the chapel. <laughs> the chapel that we all went to. And then she walks up, she goes, That's the bell. That's the bell. <laughs> <laughs> I cried the whole time. And she goes, There were so many memories, so fond of memories. <laughs> And it was fun to be emotional with her. I have one, I'll go. Um, the thought that I had is just how Sharon's kind of been like the unofficial leader of the family. Um, even though, like, I guess there's not a title, but I feel like if we took a vote, it would be pretty unanimous on Sharon. And just, I was thinking, like, all the family get togethers that we've had over the years, like, if the Graysons aren't there, the Bolses aren't there, the Lemmys aren't there, the Kellys aren't there, the Davises aren't there, like, the Wileys are always there. You know, like, Sharon is just always the one coordinating everything, keeping in touch with everyone, um, and just kind of uh, gluing the family together in a sense. The youngest of the four, you know, we had yeah. four and then a big gap with Patty there, so, you know, there were times when, like, Dad, uh, like, I remember an incident <laughs> where the, the, the gum was stuck under the piano bench, and my dad couldn't figure out who put it there, so none of us kids, of course, uh, admitted to it. So he said, okay, you have to get, you're all going to be punished unless you can go in the other room and find out who did it. So we all got in the other room. And so, <laughs> and so you know, I said, no. he said, come on now. I said, so it's only us four. And I said, look, Judy wouldn't do something. <laughs> and, and, I, and, I, and I said, and, and Lori, she's, uh, she doesn't even chew gum. And Lori's not one. And Sharon, I didn't know it. Though. So Sharon, you have to be it. <laughs> you have to admit. You have to admit to it. No, so, no. <laughs> So she put up with a lot of stuff early on. Being like the only girls, we have all these little private personal things like our secret language that we used to use. Yeah. That's yeah. demonic. <laughs> and, and we always make up stupid songs all the time when we're cooking and making. And like our little girls. Well, Here he goes. Let's put it again.
Now, just to piggyback on two things. One, you know, as we were seeking out wisdom from Don and Sharon about our marriage and courtship, Sharon said something that was very powerful. You know, Sharon. Tell us about it. We were just, you know, going back and forth, and we're missionaries in Oregon. So, Patty, you married a mission or you married a man? Can you have him that before he falls? What's that? Get down. Dude, you're going to get hurt. Drug bust.